So I wanted to go ahead and take the opportunity to make a special video for all the kids that might be watching me. Like if you're a kid or if you're a teenager, preteen, young adult, whatever. Specifically, if you are a kid that is interested in learning about magic, witchcraft, sorcery, voodoo, whatever it is that you're specifically interested in that has to do with the occult, okay? I want to help you out. There's a lot of parents out there that are really open-minded these days, okay? <laughs> that might be absolutely fine with you learning about these things or buying you a book on Wicca or witchcraft or hoodoo or whatever it is you're interested in learning. But there's a lot of you out there who are in households that condemn these practices, um, have told you that they're bad, that they're wicked, that they're evil, that they're demonic, that they come from Satan, the devil. And if you practice any of these things, that you're going to end up going to hell or whatever. So I kind of want to tell you a little bit about, go back, rewind a little bit, and try to explain to you exactly how you can explain magic and witchcraft to the people around you. And if you are absolutely constrained to the point that you can't purchase anything, you have no access to books, um, you know, you might have stumbled across this YouTube video, which is great. I hope that you have. Uh, but you're not able to, like, light candles in your house or incense in your house. I want to go ahead and, and tell you what you can do right now as you're waiting to get old enough to get the fuck out of your parents' house to do whatever it is that you want. Because we need to define exactly what traditional witchcraft is, okay? And, and even voodoo, okay? To start out with, witchcraft has nothing to do with God, goddesses, deities, angels, demons, whatever, spirits. Witchcraft is a, a craft. It's something you learn how to do. It's something that you study. And most of the time, people who are lucky are born into households with other people that already practice these things. Grandmom does it. Mom does it. You learn how to do it because you learn it from grandmom, because you learn it from mom. But you might not be in that kind of situation. Witchcraft is understanding nature, okay? Witchcraft is understanding how to use herbs. Witchcraft is about understanding how to use essential oils and perfumes and colognes. Witchcraft is learning about how to make spiritual baths for you to bathe in, to keep yourself clean, um, to protect yourself from negative outside forces, to attract love, to attract money to yourself. Witchcraft is learning how to make herbal teas, and tinctures or herbal medicines, plant-based medicines that can heal other people. And, which I don't recommend you do, <laughs> it's also about learning about poisons and toxic plants. If you are young and you want to grow up to be a traditional witch, the kind of books that you want to ask your parents to buy you are books about trees. All of the different trees that are around you in your geographical area, like trees of New England or the trees that are in the West Coast or, or whatever kind of um, plants that are around you. 
you want to learn about herbs, dried herbs, fresh herbs. You want to learn how to cook. You want to learn how to prepare these herbs. You can actually practice witchcraft by cooking. Did you know that? There is something called kitchen witches. Kitchen witches are people that put their magic into the food that they make. Um, and as far as, it, it, as far as herbs are concerned and essential oils, you're going to be using a lot of herbs, dried herbs and fresh herbs in your practice. So instead of getting caught up, okay, in this idea that to be a witch means that you have to put on a little black pointy hat, and a pair of black boots and paint your nails black and walk around being all goth and moody. That's really cute, um, but that's, that's witchcraft as a style. That's witchcraft as, um, a lot of people say they're witches and they think that they're witches because they dress up like witches. But real witches are people that know how to use plants for medicine in uh in in medicine as far as like what you can ingest what you can put on your body and also herbs that are used when you're decorating candles or when you're stuffing them into dolls or for magical purposes if you've stumbled across this video i'm going to encourage you very strongly to come to this playlist and watch my Brujo Ryan Teaches Magic and Witchcraft from the very, very beginning. And I'm going to continue to add videos uh, teaching all kinds of different practices when it comes to traditional magic and traditional witchcraft. What you can really do is get a binder or get a notebook, okay? I made a video about getting a bullet journal. You might be able to ask your parents to buy you a bullet journal and so that you can start taking notes and you can start writing down all of your ideas, writing down your feelings, and more importantly than anything else, pay attention to your dreams. What do you dream about every night? Where does your spirit, your soul go at night when you go to sleep? Where does it travel, okay? so. There are things that you can do that require absolutely no magical stuff. Pentacles, pentagrams, wands, brooms, and all the, the stuff that you see in these YouTube videos and on TikTok or in pictures on Facebook and Twitter. You don't need all of those things to be a witch because in reality, Traditional witches had to hide their practices because they were persecuted by Christians and Muslims and other people who um, hated uh, people who understood how to use medicinal plants, okay? So you actually are a lot more like old school witches than the people you see dressing up and trying to act witchy. Uh, and a lot of the old pagan symbols uh, are things that are simple, like a spiral. This is my favorite talisman uh, jewelry that I wear that I, you know, did a working on to make it protective for me. It's a spiral. It's not a pentacle. Um, Understanding nature is what's important for you right now if you want to become a witch. Understanding plants and learning about plants, especially the plants that are outside of your house and around you in parks and in the forest or on trails. The more you spend in nature, young one, the closer you're going to get to the craft the closer you're going to get to magic because witchcraft and magic is based in nature. It's based in nature and it's based on harmonizing yourself with the natural forces of air, earth, water, fire, and spirit or space. There's one important thing 
that I believe that you should do. And this is something that you can, you can do even if all you can do is get a glass and fill it up with water, okay? Take a glass of water and see if you can get a little tea light, okay? Or a tea light holder. If you can't get the light, that's okay because we're gonna work with whatever we can work with. You want to connect with your ancestors. Now, who are your ancestors? Well, they're not just your mom and your dad and your grandmom and your gra granddad on both of your parents' side, but your ancestors are all the people who have ever lived. Millions and millions of people had to live in order for you to be here, in order for you to be born. And honoring your ancestor spirits, honoring your, 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 the people who came before you, is also a very, very important part of practicing traditional magic, okay? So the practice that I want you to do, besides learning about trees and learning about plants and learning about crystals and learning about rocks and meditating on the five elements, is sitting down and closing your eyes and saying a prayer to God the ancestors, your spirit guides, uh, and, and all those other spirits that are around you that are trying to help you get from point A to point B. Always ask that the spirits that work with you are the spirits that have your highest good in mind, that want to help you and get to where you want to be. So as of right now, you might not be able to dress the way you want to dress or look the way you want to look or have a grand altar like what you see in these YouTube videos, they don't matter. What matters is who you are inside, how you feel inside. Because I'm a witch all the time because that's just who I am. It's just part of me. It's part of who I am. It's part of my being. And I want you to feel the same way. So if you're a child or a kid or a teenager or someone else who doesn't have the ability right now to be able to do everything you want to do in witchcraft, take the suggestions that I just gave you, move forward with that, watch this video series, and learn and take notes.